Robert Halfon. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, will my honourable friend first thank the passion and commitment of the staff of the NHS at Harlow Prince Alexandra Hospital? But whilst the government have invested five million in our accident emergency services, due to issues elsewhere in nearby hospitals, the pressure on our a and &E has been immense. Princess Alexandra Hospital is one of the busiest by far in terms of attends by bed, and one in five ambulances arriving are from out of area. The PAH is now admitting four more patients per day than they were this time last year. Will my honourable friend meet with me, meet with the Chief Executive of the Princess Alexandra Hospital and visit the hospital, either himself or the hospital minister, to see what can be done to help the situation? Well, I'm very happy to do that, and I'm aware of the um, very significant pressures that, are, that there are at the Princess Alexandra. Um, and what I would say is I'd like to thank him for the way he is supporting staff in his local hospital, getting behind local plans. And I think that it is a mistake to say that there is always a new national initiative. In fact, lots of people in the NHS have been saying over the last few days they don't want new national initiatives. They want to do exactly what he is doing, which is to people to support their local NHS and not to turn it into a political football.